So concerns of uh, postpartum depression or postpartum mood and anxiety disorders in mothers can start uh, since conception, you know, um, when the baby's conceived or up to one year after the child has already been um, born, so up to the child's first birthday. Some symptoms of postpartum depression or anxiety disorders could be um, depressed mood, fatigue, um, lack of interest, um, feeling guilt. Another one that we see pretty commonly are mood swings. Um, they, they could become pretty severe and moms who don't get treated, we could see even um, suicidality, thoughts of suicide, thoughts of harming themselves or thoughts of harming their child. Um, and so that's when we want to really intervene and help these moms who are experiencing these symptoms. The prevalence of postpartum depression or anxiety disorders within mothers is about one in 10 in the United States. So we've seen that um, moms who have uh, postpartum depression or anxious mood disorders um, really do have an effect on the child. We see um, impacts on bonding with the child, um, which could have negative impacts on the child with um, mood, uh, the way that they're able to regulate their emotions, the way that they could bond with others, um, the way that they have their social interactions. So we have seen that this can not only impact the mom, but it infects the child as well. I think the biggest thing that mothers can do if they can is just get support, whether it's uh, eliciting support from their husband, whether it's eliciting support from their families and friends. Um, that is one thing that we see is the biggest help for these mothers who experience these symptoms. The other things um, help with diet and exercise, so having a healthy diet, maintain um, a good uh, exercise regime, even if it's just going out for a walk with your child or even if it's leaving the child with um, their dad and going out for a 10-15 minute walk. We've seen that that really could help these depression symptoms and help these moms feel more motivated and a little bit better. Um, one thing that we've seen is that if mom feel like these steps aren't helping is to either seek uh, help from a doctor or come in and talk to a counselor about these symptoms if they do not seem to be clearing up within the three months. So one thing that we notice is the difference between postpartum baby blues and postpartum depression is the amount of time and the intensity. So obviously everybody who's um, gone through this knows that it's an adjustment to have a baby, right? From the sleep deprivation to the kind of figuring out who you are as a mom and as a wife and as a um, sometimes as an employee. Um, it's a big adjustment to bring a baby into the to this world and to having a new life that you're taking care of. Um, so the difference is if those symptoms of feeling down and depressed or a lack of sleep or fatigue go on for more than three months, I would say, that's it would be a good time to talk to a doctor. Sometimes, yes, sometimes medication is effective with dealing with postpartum depression, especially because sometimes the hormones are not regulated yet. After having a child, our hormones are kind of all over the place. So in order to kind of regulate those those hormones and also if you just feel like you can't, don't have the support and you can't, you know, um, manage this by yourself, it would be a good idea to talk to a doctor in order to see if a medication would assist with some of these symptoms. I think one of the biggest parts of counseling is for a mom going through this is discussing the adjustments and the difficulties of being a new mom um, and then being a support to this mother. Um, a lot of the times what I've seen with some of our patients, they don't have the support, they don't have anybody to talk to and I've seen and just being that person that this new mom could talk to about how hard it is um, has been shown to help these moms a lot just be able to vent about the difficulties of being a new mom. Sometimes the mothers feel like what they're feeling is not normal because of the intensity of their symptoms. So they say, I shouldn't feel guilty. I shouldn't feel sad because I have a baby and it's a blessing to have a baby. But sometimes with all these symptoms happening, it's hard to adjust to that. Sometimes mothers feel um, like they shouldn't be having this guilt, like they shouldn't be sad, like they shouldn't be feeling down. Um, because they just have a baby, right? So those feelings to a new mom would be like, why am I feeling this way, this isn't normal. But one thing that these moms need to remember, that we as moms need to remember, is that you're going through a big life adjustment and you're not sleeping well and you're, you're fully um, having to take care of this little tiny human 24-7. Um, this baby depends solely on you and that's a lot of responsibility for one single person to carry. So those feelings are completely normal and if you're feeling that way I would seek support. Talk to your husband, talk to your partner, talk to your mother, talk to a counselor, talk to a doctor, talk to your friend, talk to somebody who you could get those feelings out to because you're not alone. Um, one thing that many moms experience is sleep deprivation. Um, whether it's getting used to the baby's new schedule or if their baby is waking up um, a lot throughout the night, we never know how a baby's gonna, um, what their routine is gonna be like. So one thing that many moms experience is sleep deprivation. And if you feel like you're experiencing sleep deprivation, it'd be important to talk to somebody 
to at least get a nap or um, to get some rest because some symptoms of sleep deprivation or some things that could happen um, if you have sleep deprivation are more intense mood swings, um, you feel more stressed out, you can feel more sad and down because your body isn't getting the rest that it needs. So it would be important if you feel like you need rest to reach out to somebody and have somebody come help with the baby even if it's just for a few minutes or for an hour or so. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you feel like anything identified with you um, throughout this video, please feel free to give us a call so you can make an appointment, come chat with us. We'd love to talk. Thank you so much.